I'm working in Blackboard Ultra now, so some of my videos are going to look different. And I want to show you how easy it is to make the simplest kind of Blackboard test. So this is going to be short answer and fill in the blank. We are going to build an assessment, a test. We're going to create it down here. And the simplest test is usually a short answer test. So uh, I'm in a writing course here. Was the introduction, let's say, effective? Maybe, I don't know. And then they have to explain why. OK, now I could put an answer down here if I wanted to, that they would be able to view afterwards. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is not the first item. OK, I'm mixed up. So that I'm still describing the test up here. So I'm going to submit this, and I'm going to create the question. And the question here is going to be a short answer question. Now I put in my question, and here I have a chance, if I want to, to put a model answer in, which the students would be able to see at some point, maybe at the end of the week or after everybody has finished the test. And I could even put a rubric in here as well. So it's good to think about little rubrics that will guide this process. And that's it. So I've created one question. If I like this question, by the way, if I like the format, etc., there is a way I could speed things up by actually copying this question now. And now, um, you know, I could, I've just shortened things instead of making a brand new question. Um, I have copied the format and maybe part of the text. So describe the conclusion, whatever it is, is just a model. And same thing. So now I've got two short answer questions in my test, and here they are. Now I'm going to submit the test, clicking OK. And uh, at this point, I have one more submit to do here. And I get a chance now to select some test options. Test options as a whole, another uh, video, another training. There's a lot of options, and you need to learn which works well for your students. So I didn't set any of them. I just submitted the test. The test is not available yet to my students, but it is here. Okay, the next kind I want to show you, a very simple one, is the fill-in-the-blank test. I prefer to use Excel for my fill-in-the-blank tests because it's very, very easy to do here. I actually copy this from a web page, Present Perfect, and our students are good at multiple choice in their grammar, but to really test them in their grammar, we need to have more fill-in-the-blank productive activities. So FIB tells Blackboard that what kind of question this is. Here's the question, and here are the possible answers over here. Now they have to spell it exactly correct in order to for the computer to accept it. So you will notice that I have given them two possibilities here. Wasn't as a contraction, was not as a two words. I'm accepting both of them in this case. Uh, she be not there an hour ago. So uh, I think this is relatively easy to set up. Now to put it in Blackboard, I'm going to save it in a special format, not as Excel, 
I'm going to save it as a text file. Text tab delimited dot txt. And uh, it's already on my computer that way. So I'm going to use the that file here. It's start to try, time to start a new test. So I'm going to click on assessments test in the folder where I am want this test to be. I am going to create a test and this time I'm going to do it properly. I'm going to give it a title that is a correct title, maybe a test description if I want to. I'm going to submit the, t the test and now I have choices of where the questions are going to come from. In my case, I am uploading them. It's not importing, it's uploading them. And the nice thing in Blackboard is it will accept TXT files as, as uploaded files. I'll change this to one point per question, whatever you want. And now I have to go in and find that txt file. Okay, I found it right here. Uh, it's I also saved it as an Excel, but I need the txt. I'm going to open it. I'm going to submit it. And it has accepted all my questions. I can see the question text. I can see the answers here. In some cases, there here is there are two answers that are correct that are possible in this case. It would be better if I wasn't using numbers, by the way, here, because Blackboard is already numbering it, so my numbers are not, are just messing things up. They're causing confusion. If you want to refer to number eight, there could be two number eights now. So I'm going to submit it, and uh, that's it. Um, go through the whole process, set any test options, and that is the the two we created uh, multiple choice or sorry short answer and then fill in the blank i hope this helped